Okay, so this is the bench review for the Hobby King 900 megahertz H800 milliwatt video transmitter, receiver, and camera. Uh, before I get into the review, I'm going to start off with a couple of things you really need to know. Number one, the camera polarity should look like this. It should go positive, negative, then video out. When it comes to you, the plastic connector on the board is probably reversed. So all you need to do, it's not glued in or anything, is take needle nose pliers, grab the plastic and just kind of wiggle it off the pins and flip it around, and your connector should then fit. Just make sure your polarity is like that, and that way you don't fry the camera or anything. The second thing is, the connectors that came stock on this transmitter and receiver were not very durable at all, they just like, broke right out of the box. So what I did is I soldered on servo connectors, which worked just fine. Yellow for video, red for positive, and brown, black for negative. The thing you need to watch out about is your video. You notice how the wire coming out of the camera is white here, but if you look, you have a white cable here. On the transmitter, that is for audio. The video in on the transmitter is yellow. So when you make your connector, make sure you have yellow to yellow on the transmitter side, then on your camera side, just use yellow to white, and that should put it together. Another thing is, you might know, you might be looking at this and thinking, where's the case? Well, I took it out of the case. The reason being, the case is pretty heavy. When you put it on the scale, <coughs> excuse me, the case weighs about two ounces. So, the whole actual transmitter with the antenna weighs about two ounces itself so the case is about half the weight of the transmitter so I figured why not just take it off and save two ounces the one thing you need to be careful about though is the case does act as sort of a heat sink so when you do have it out make sure you have it sitting on something uh, like cement because this is nice and cool or have it on a plane where you have nice good ventilation is that keeps airflow over it so it does not overheat but overall this does lighten it up and it does make it easier to fit on a plane easier for your plane to lift the way I did that was if you look you'll see there's four screws here and there were four screws up here I just took two off to put two back on you'll take all eight of those screws out pop that out and then there are metal plates in there and you can squeeze the metal plates because one of them is bent and they will lower down the transmitter and it just slides all right out like that. So let's get on to the video part of it. On the receiver it is 12 volts DC powered so I'm just going to use this lead acid battery here. Uh, the actual power adapter that I'm using for the receiver is off of a Hobby King Eco 6 balancing charger as this did not come with a power cable so it works for me and I'm not sure exactly what type it is but that's just the type it is it has positive on the center and negative on the outside so I'm going to go to Radio Shack and try and get a separate one so I can either just plug it into a LiPo or this big battery here but this works for now so first I'm going to turn on my TV so I can show you how this works Turn it on and it will be on video, as you will see. There we go, just video. Now when we plug in the receiver, we do negative here, and then positive around here. You plug in positive, and you'll see it's starting to receive signal now. So that shows that your receiver works. Now for the transmitter, I will get that plugged in. I'm going to have that sitting right there so you can see what's going on. Just connecting my camera to my transmitter. And I need to go get a battery. This is just using a JST connector. So for this, I'm going to use a Turnigy 3 cell lithium polymer battery. Um, we're just going to go for 370 since that's what I have. I had an 850, but it is no longer. 
So we set this like this, and I'll try and do this out of the way so you can see. Plug this in, and you will see. Oh, we have a black screen. But that is because we forgot to take off the lens cap. That will solve 90% of your problems right there. And there we go. We now have video. Ta da! And that is our video from the camera, which is actually not too bad of quality. And if you can look up, you can see all the planes up there. I'm trying to get this focused a little better. There we go. Look up, you can see all the planes, Flatman, Batwing, all that good stuff. Have the. So let's down, pick this back up again. It's going back over there. Then there is for your long range focus. As you can see, that works actually pretty good. And to test how it adjusts towards light, we are going to point this towards a light source. There we go, there's a light source. And you can see it still focuses pretty good on everything around it. So, as of now, this is working fairly slick, in my opinion. Oh, there we go. Had some glitch there. That might have just been my iPod wireless interference. But as you can see, that works pretty good, actually. There we go. So as of now, this is pretty a pretty good starting point in my opinion. I'm going to do a range check next. I've done one where I just walked out of my shop and outside and it's worked good. Going through these cement walls and like two other walls and down to the transmitter. Zero glitches, so we will see how that works coming up. So be sure to stay tuned, subscribe, also comment and share. So for the fly guys, I'm Nathan.